be on your doorstep Usually when you think of the beach, you think of happy thoughts, peaceful and tranquil times with the family, picnicking and other assorted merriments. But there's another side to the beach, a side of carnage and brutality, <laughs> fights, battles, <laughs> and a lot of this is due to the tiger beetle. And today we are going to go and catch one. Now to catch a tiger beetle, you need a good net with a long pole. Now I had a good net, but I didn't have a long pole, so I just taped it to a stick I found which works just as well. Now the reason you need a long pole on your net is because these beetles are fast, running or flying, and so you need to be ready at all times to go after them. And we're going to look for them right now here on the sand dune areas where they will be running around looking for prey, okay? So let's see what we can find here. They're hard to see sometimes because they will blend in with the sand. Wait, there's one right there. Okay, here you go. I'm gonna go really slow. Get your net far out in front of you. Get it above the beetle. You think you got it? I go! Got it. Fine. Let me got it. I got it! Fine. Now when you catch it, you wanna hurry to the front part of the net so it does not escape or get out a hole or anything. And I will hold it inside the net and get my other hand in there and switch hands and pull it out. Now these guys will bite you, but don't worry, it doesn't hurt. They're just trying to defend themselves. They're called tiger beetles for several reasons. One, because they are the vicious carnivorous predators of the open dunes. Predator. A predator is an animal that eats other animals for food. Ugh. Also, they have tiger stripe patterns on their back wing covers. That's how you identify the different species of tiger beetles. By the color of their wing covers, by the habitat they're in, and by their pattern on their back. Now tiger beetles don't eat anything solid. They will just suck the juices out of their prey. And in fact, they don't even drink straight water. They will suck the moisture out of damp sand or dirt. Now, if you wanna keep tiger beetles at home, once you catch one, all you have to do is get a nice tank like this, fill it in with some dirt or sand, depending where you caught it, and get some dog food. I get some dry dog food, and I soak it in some water, and then once it expands, they will suck the nutrients out of there, so it's quite easy to keep them. Beyond the doorstep. 